Hey guys, it's Alex. By the time I turned 21 years old, my screen print shop did over a million dollars a year. And on this channel, I share the same exact marketing and sales strategies that we used to grow our business in hopes that these videos help you grow yours. One of the reasons our screen print shop was able to grow so fast was because we were able to build a killer sales team. And in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to build a really good sales team and how I figured out how to do this. When I was learning how to build my business, I had to study other industries and apply it to our shop. And what I realized was the construction industry and the screen printing industry is very, very similar. Both share the same exact sales process. You might be like, Alex, there's no similarities, but let me explain. For both sides, in order for you to quote a job, you have to see the whole project. Once you have the project in mind, you can quote the job. After you quote the job, you have to hope that the other person accepts the job. So it goes from the project, quote, sale. It's the same thing on both sides. Now, what I came to realize after doing research was that the best roofing companies in the world, the biggest roofing companies in the world that made the most money, the roofing companies that were billion dollar companies, they weren't good at building roofs. The actual installing of the shingles was not their issue. And that wasn't even what they were good at. What they were really, really good at was building world-class sales teams. And in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to build a world-class sales team. You see these roofing companies, they are very, very good at recruiting talent, training talent, and retaining talent. The problem that I see in the screen printing industry is that most shops suck at all three. Now, what I also come to realize was that the sales reps at the roofing companies didn't do the quotes. One of the main sticking points at your shop might be that every single person quotes a different price. Well, if these roofing companies can figure it out, you can probably figure it out too. One, you have to standardize the matrix, or two, just have one person quote all the jobs. If you realize these roofing companies, these construction companies, when they send a sales rep out to your door, sometimes they don't even quote the job. They're just there to grab all the details, and then later on, they propose the estimate. So in other words, they have people that go to the job site, look at everything, collect the details, build the connection, someone else estimates the price, the sales rep then closes the deal after that. That was the same exact sales process that we installed into our print shop. Now I tried so many different strategies and the biggest mistake that I made was every single sales rep was trying to quote jobs on their own. Not only is it time consuming, it's also hard to standardize and it takes the most skill to train. So what we did instead was each sales rep built the connection, established everything, collected the details, went back to the main person who did all the quotes. We got the quote, sent it to the client. That way all the quotes are the same price and they can focus on lead generation, follow up and closing deals. That's all we wanted them to do. And next we tied the performance to a specific KPI, a key performance indicator. That way we can know based on the metrics that this sales rep isn't doing their job or they're falling below quota. Now, to build a world-class sales team, you have to be able to recruit world-class talent, train people into becoming world-class talent, and then lastly, retaining world-class talent. So let's break out all three. At our shop, what we developed was called a hiring funnel. We were able to post ads, just like how you get customers, but instead we were able to find sales reps very fast. There's a lot of bonuses and features that attract sales reps into our company. Number one, you can work remote. Two, you can sell at home. And three, you get commissions on the sales. So for us to find world-class talent, we're able to find them all online and we're able to post an ad and hire sales reps. If you notice, we didn't hire our cousins. If you notice, we didn't hire simply people that we knew. We didn't hire my cousin's mom. We didn't hire the person I met in high school, we didn't hire people that we knew. One of the first mistakes I made was I hired my friend in hopes that he can become a good salesperson when he wasn't already a good salesperson. I was already fighting a losing battle. So if you want to build a really good sales team, you have to win it in the draft. And most championships are won at the draft. So what I mean by that is that you have to be able to figure out how to recruit good salespeople into your business. Imagine if someone came into your business or, and already had five, 10 years of sales experience compared to someone who had no sales experience at all, but they knew everything about t-shirts. It doesn't matter. So step number one is being able to recruit really good talent. Number two was we were able to train new talent very, very quickly. This was the exact process that we followed. One, we gave them the script. 
Two, we had them record them saying the script and then we sent it to the team lead. The team lead would then listen to the sales recording of them just reading the script and give them feedback. You would tell them what they did really well, what they can improve on. Next, this person says the script again with those improvements, sales team listens to it, and now they role play together. The sales rep talks to the sales team manager and they go back and forth to the point where the sales team lead says this person is good to go to the streets. Once they're good, we have this person hit certain metrics every single day. For example, they have to hit 100 dials every single day. They have to reach out to 30 new people every single day and they have to show me who they were. And they also had to schedule into their schedule a certain time to do all their follow-ups. And every single week, they were supposed to tell me what their projected sales were for that week. Our sales team met Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And on these meetings, we looked to see what was working well, what metrics that we have to track to hit our goals by the end of the month. And lastly, all the wins that our company and our sales reps were doing. So what that looks like is, hey, right now we're closing at 40%. Our average sales ticket is $800. For us at 100K by the end of this month, we have to set this many new leads, send this many quotes, and this many quotes have to close. That way, everyone on the team knows. And that way, by the halfway mark in the middle of the week, we have to hit a certain number to make sure we're on track. If not, we have to increase our volume in terms of lead generation, et cetera. But before you can build a really good sales team, you have to know how to generate leads on demand. We never ran out of leads. That's why it was so easy for us to recruit talent to our shop. Imagine if you're a good salesperson, you wanna work from home, and you can go to this company that gives you a thousand new leads every single day. All you have to do is sell and you get commissions and a base. It's almost a no brainer. But anyways, we'll go into that in another day. But before you even build a world-class sales team, you have to be world-class at generating leads. If you don't have leads to sell to, the sales reps won't be as motivated to sell for your company if they have to go drum up their own leads. Chances are, if your sales reps can't generate leads, it's probably because the owner of the company doesn't know how to generate leads either. Now, that's how we trained up our sales reps. The next issue that you'll run into after you train someone to be good at sales is how to retain them in your company. Because once someone becomes so good at sales, it makes zero sense for them to continue selling shirts for your company. So how do you keep talent at your company? There's a few different tricks. But if you notice, the best sales reps in the world probably don't sell t-shirts. They're probably selling something way more expensive because of two reasons. One, if they're good at sales, the skill transfers to any other industry. So you might as well sell something that's super expensive and has better margins. And two, if they're so good at selling t-shirts, they might as well start their own brokerage and contract all the work out and keep the difference. They make more money, same amount of work. So you have to have incentives that keep people aligned and keep them working for your company. And you have to have the culture in which people love working for you. And three, you have to be a leader that continues to give these guys different opportunities as they go up the chain. And lastly, you have to be generous with their bonuses and you have to be very good at leading a sales team. At some point I got too busy, so I no longer led the sales team and we left it in the hands of Jerome King. So one of our sales reps now at Ink Launch, his name is Jerome and he led the sales team. But if you wanna build a world-class sales team, that's basically what you have to do. One, you have to be able to recruit world-class talent. Two, you have to be able to train world-class talent. And to do that, you have to have scripts, you have to have standard operating procedures. These are the words you say, this is how you say it every single day. You have to make this many dials, you have to follow up with this many people and you have to give me the predictions of the week of how many sales you're going to make. And then you have to show me all the new leads that you contacted for the week. And then lastly, you have to be able to retain world-class talent and keep them motivated. If you do those three things, your sales team will continue to grow and continue to close deals on your behalf so that you can fire yourself from your company. And if you need help building a world-class sales team, just book a call with our team below because we help screen print shops grow. And to grow, you need to get more sales. So if you need help with that, just book a call down below and we'll help you grow your business.